Hello and welcome to a new Google Sheets tutorial in Practical Sheets. Today we're going to do an email reader. So you may be asking, why do I need an email reader if I have my Gmail? So basically you may need in some cases to bring some kind of emails, maybe from the last date, or you just want to do a filter of your emails, or you want to integrate it with a system you're doing in Google Sheets. So I'm going to show you a way to connect with Gmail so you can bring all your messages and whatever you want from that message. If you want to bring the date, the subject, the sender, the message, the attachments, whatever. So if you are a new user, maybe you don't see the, the potential, but for a power user that can see how then we can attach the messages, the senders, we can do a, a contact and then we can filter the senders or the subjects, or we can do some very advanced filters with the messages or the subjects or the attachments, then you can begin to see the possibilities. Okay. So I know you're going to love it. And of course, I'll always wait for your suggestions to continue to improve it. But before we begin, I invite you to subscribe to the channel or even further go to my Patreon page or to my practicalsheets.com site where you'll find not only the templates for this and more than 60 videos in the channel, but exclusive courses in Google Sheets and Google Apps Script. Without further ado, Let's continue with the video. So let's begin. Let's go directly to Google Apps Script and see what can we bring from our Gmail. So I'm going to Apps Script. I'm going to rename this function. Let's give it a bit of zoom. Let's rename this function, function uh, bring emails, something like that. Okay, let's call this variable emails and we're going to connect to our Gmail app class or service. Let's see which are the methods that could help us bring the, the mails. Normally it's this get. So I can, I have a couple of things I can get. I can get the draft, some chats, but normally this is what I need. The inbox, the messages, inbox or methods can work. The difference is that that inbox threads brings the whole chain or whole thread of content, but the messages bring individual messages. Okay. So normally I'll work with this one. Let's start with this one and see what I am bringing. Okay. Just be careful. If you have a lot of messages, this may crash sometimes. So just it's trial and error. Okay. So we have these emails. Now let, let's see what I'm bringing. Logger log. This should be an object. So I'm not going to get here my emails, just an object. And I need to see how I can manage that object. So let's save first, and then we're going to run. And once we run, we're going to be asked for some permissions, especially for our Gmail app service. So let's run it the first time. I need my permission. I haven't named my project, so this is a good practice. Let's name it now. Bring emails. Okay. So you can see here I'm bringing six threads. I don't have a lot of emails in my inbox right now. So it's good. So now I'm bringing an array of Gmail threads. So I need to loop through this array and see what I can do with each Gmail thread. Maybe we can start for the first one to see what I can bring. If I do emails zero, I'm going to do my first Gmail thread and let's see what I can do with this Gmail thread. I'm going to do zoom out one time so I could get maybe the messages. So now I go to the thread and then I go to the messages. So apparently maybe this will be another array. So I'm just going to lock this first thread. See how many messages normally it will be just one if I don't have a lot of threads. So let's run again. So again, here I have a Gmail message. So first I go through my email threads, then I go through my messages. And I need to do something with each message. So let's go again to the first message. In this case, I only have one message. Normally I will have at least one. So let's call this message. And down here I will do message in spot zero. And let's see what I can do with that. I can get the body. I can get the attachments. I can get a lot of things for, for now. Let's get the body and lock it. One zoom in, let's run. So let's see here. I have an HTML, a very crazy HTML. So maybe I can 
get just the plain text. I don't need the HTML. So maybe I can get a simpler body. Let's see. Plain body. Here, this is what I need, maybe. Without all the HTML. Let's run it again. And now it's much better. So now I have my email. So now let's do this for all of our emails. So given that this is an array of emails, so I can employ the method for each. So I will do for each. For each email, I'm going to do this equal and uh, greater than, that is uh, an arrow type function, which will uh, simplify things in the newer versions of Google Apps Script from two or three years ago. So I don't have to do a callback function with function, open parentheses, then open the brackets. This equal and um, greater than is a simplified version of the classic callback function with the parentheses and the brackets, okay? That's it. So you can see this in other ways, in other videos with the more classic version of the callback function. So what I'm going to do is for each email, it's open brackets. If it was just one line, I wouldn't need the brackets, but maybe I will need more because inside of each email, I'm going to get the message. This that I'm doing here, I'm going to put it up here. I'm going to get the message, but now it's not email zero, but each email, because for each email, I'm going to get the messages. And then I'm going to get this plain body and I'm going to call it a text message, maybe. And there, there may be other things I need, the date, the attachment, whatever. For now, let's do just the message and see how it goes. So the last part is to throw this or print this in my Google Sheets. So this is pretty easy. We're just going to do first, I have to connect with my sheet. So I can do it up here. I'm just going to call this worksheet and this worksheet will be spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet. And then I'm going to call my, in this case, I only have one spreadsheet. Let's, so let's call it SS and it will be WS dot or my worksheet, the method get sheet by name. And the sheet by name is this one that I think I don't, I haven't even named it. So let's call this mails. And here in quotation marks, I put mails. Finally, down here, I will say ss.appendrow. And inside my appendrow, for now, I'm just going to put my text message. I'm going to save, but before running it, I'm going to put here a header, a list. So let's say message. I forgot to put this inside parentheses. Okay. Now let's save and run again. So now I have them here. Okay. I have my messages. However, I'm always getting just the last message. So actually this is not the message. I can call this message thread and here also. This depends on you. You can treat them separately or just bring the last mail in the message thread. We can leave it like this and it's not a problem. Okay. Now we can bring some other things. For example, the date, message date. And this will be message thread zero dot get date. And there are other things we can bring message thread in position zero, get the subject, the header, who is it from? Get from, let's call this subject and let's call this message subject better here also message date here message text just so that everything is in the same and uh, with the same nomenclature variable here message um sender sender it's that's it and here now i can organize my array by row so maybe first i want the date so message date then I want the subject, then I want the sender, and finally I want the, the message. Okay, let's save it, let's run it, and then here you can see I have a problem because I'm, I'm putting it after the other messages I have. So maybe I want to clear all my information before I paste it. So here I can say ss dot 
get range. We're going to start in row number two, column number one. Let's go to the last row I have. This is ss.getLast row minus one because I'm, I need to take into account the header. And finally, ss.getLast column. And we're going to clear the content. This is just for every time I run it, I'm going to clear everything and then bring all my latest email. Let's run this and here I have it and maybe I have to change my headers. I'm going to put here a message, here is the sender, and here is the subject, and finally my date. Let's format these, these columns a bit. Better. Okay, so now I have my subject, I have my date, I have my sender, and I have my message. We can do a lot of other things. We could, for example, do a filter of dates. It depends on what you want to do. Maybe you want to bring just the messages from a specific date from, or a specific dates of a specific sender with something specific in the subject. It depends on how you're going to use this. If you're going to use it for searching for, for, for messages, for looking at your latest messages, for looking at a message with a specific tag. So it all depends on you. So given that it depends on you, so I'm going to leave it up to you. You tell me in the comments. What am I missing? Well, how can we expand this project? For now, it's just, uh, let's say, uh, an alternative inbox. It's better the Gmail inbox, but when you start thinking on the implications that you can connect this to your tables, your emails, your dates, you can do some advanced triggering that if the message says something, you can send another message, something like that, then it starts to look like a very powerful draft of a system. Okay. Before we go, we could add a nice menu, very simple. If you have some experience, you already know how to do it, but you just do on open. We're going to bring our spreadsheet up service, and then we're going to call the get UI method that it connects with the interface of Google Sheets. Then we're going to do create menu. We have to assign a title for the menu. So let's say custom better, and then we're going to include some items. The first item will be my bring items function. So the first argument is how I'm going to see the item. So it's bring items. And the second argument is which function will it call when I click on it. So is this bring emails function. I'll do control shift left to select it all and do quotation marks. So it envelops it in a quotation mark. Finally, I'm going to do add to UI. So it adds it effectively to my UI. So I don't have to refresh my sheet. I'm going to select an open, run it to see that it's working. And here I can see that I'm custom bring items. It will run again my message reader. Let's call it like this. OK, so this is it. As always, if you like these messages, you can go to the Patreon page or now to my newly created Practical Sheets site where you can subscribe to download all the templates and you will soon start seeing and new courses, new exclusive courses on everything Google Sheets, Google Apps Script related. Thank you so much. See you next time.